Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of animal shelters, about your office at the right now. Oh, yeah. uh, now that two weeks into the camp, how, do, how are things coming together? Uh, we're, we're starting to come. You know, we're starting to come together. You see some of it. Um, you know, doing some good things here. Just a lot of corrections, a lot of just you know things that they just got to pick up with the game and playing different guys playing with each other and combinations of communication. I think it's still always the the, the last thing that comes along, but it's, it's the thing we push more and more to get, especially with a couple of young guys in there of. You got to speak, and that's more on Elton and Dion and, and Daryl who have been in there to communicate and help them to a point. And like I said, I talked to them today about starting to weed them off of that just because they have to start, you have to start trusting to the job because you can't, I mean, like, again, first thing is self rescue. Okay, they got to do their job first. You got to do your job to make sure they're learning theirs. Are you still in the combination and testing phase right now? Yeah, I mean, uh, not actually say testing phase. We're kind of going with, with what we have, and to me, just um, the way we started and we're going to keep going. I think I've um, I haven't moved anybody yet, which means let's keep going. To me, the hardest thing is you move them around now, you really don't see what they have because they're spending enough time thinking as is. So to me, it's let them go play. We still got a long camp. We still got, what, three more or so on weeks left. Is let them go play and see what they can do before I have to make them think anymore. How is Elton kind of just into that role? Good. I think really very well. I mean, to me, he's taking the ownership in it now. It's again, for, even for him, it's just little things here and there and technique-wise that he's got to learn that are a little different than he's been way out in space at the tackle to a little more confined at guard. To, it's even more compact now for him. Um, but it's done a decent job so far and just keep going with it. Obviously, middle reps are key for every position up there. We talk about the middle reps that he has to take with, with that center and that change. Everything. He's just, it's learning the game. And again, that's one of the reasons we talked about earlier of him being there is he's seen two different positions, well, how the game works. So to him, he understands how the game works. He knows what he wants to do. It's now for him is just applying it. You know, he sees it, he knows it, it's just crap how the footwork, how the hand placement changes a little bit because it's just on him a lot faster than it's been out of tackle or even guard. How are the Juco guys adjusting to this level? Good. I mean, I think they're, um, I think they're both doing well. They're both doing well. I think they just got to keep going. I think the, the hardest thing for them is not um, the mental part they've kind of picked up. I understand. I think it's just the, the, the pace we go and the, the intensity, I think, of practice and the things that the, the intensity and the the attention to detail is, is different for them. Um, but I think that's they're adjusting well and they really have no choice. So get with going. A, with a serious injury or, or more with scare that Daryl had last year, obviously guys can kind of have that in the back of their mind. But how have you seen him when he returned? And I don't think anything. I think it was, the biggest thing you look at is with his injury was was just, I hate to say it was self-inflicted. It was just doing something that you coach all the time of keeping your head up. It was really just him turning his head. Um, they got hit on it. I think it's something that you can't ever dwell on injuries, and uh, you know, because then you start thinking about it, you're gonna get hurt again. So to me, I don't think it's been, you know, he recovered from it. And the doctors tell him he's fine, so just keep going. And How much were you able to relate to him because you had been? I mean, yours is more serious, but you've kind of yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, the same. I, mean, I gave him the same kind of things. I broke my neck my freshman year of high school, so it was um, even different. He wasn't anything more than I. I mean, I was in a brain neck brace for six months. Um, but I think it was just something for him was just you know, teaches you keep me help me keep your head up. <laughs> it's not a good situation. What do you see from Stuart Reese and Darren Williams as they potentially go into larger roles this year? What I see, I mean, yeah, I see them, them them contributing quite a bit to me being an impact, and that's the biggest thing because they have they have to. I mean, not that they have to, but um, it's kind of expected. They have the talent, they have everything we want, everything we need. Now it's you know, just. It's, it's pushing them harder and harder to be 100% account, accountable to what they have to do and being detailed and being so they don't need anything more than they, they should have to. How well have they adapted to that so far? Good. I think very well. I think, I think Daryl has. I mean, Daryl's, they're both learning every day, but I think they both adapted very well. And they've had some good practices. They've had their, their, their screw-ups, but um, they've got better each day, and that's all I'll ask them. And they keep you know, putting stuff in. And once we settle down here, probably after, before the, after the first scrimmage, It'll, everything's in, so it'll be settled down for them to just start, okay, concentrate. Even like the uh, camp is there's so much. I mean, we're installing things every day, defense installing things every day, so it's compounding. Once you get in a game week, things contract quite a bit. So there's not as much because you're going to be honed into exactly what the team's doing in the week. So you have so much to learn now that's going to be compact by the time we get to game week. Mm -hmm.